Dear learners, welcome to the course Antennas and Microwave Engineering. In this video, I will be explaining microwave resonators. What is cavity resonator? Generally, microwave cavity resonators are tunable circuits. A cavity resonator is a metallic enclosure formed by shorting two ends of a section of a waveguide. Cavity resonator confines the electromagnetic energy. They store the electric and magnetic field components inside the cavity determines the equivalent inductance and capacitance. Within the cavity, various TE and TM modes are possible. A very high value of Q can be obtained with these resonators. A cavity resonator can be taken any shape or size which is decided by various factors such as resonant frequency required to be produced by cavity, mechanical consideration, desired value of quality factor and required value of shunt conductance. In microwave application, generally there are three uh, types of cavity resonators are used. These are rectangular cavity resonator, circular cavity resonator and re-entrant cavity resonators. We will discuss about these one by one. First type is rectangular cavity resonator. In this figure it illustrates the rectangular cavity resonator. You see here this rectangular uh, waveguide section. Both ends, we introduce the uh, short circuit is placed at two ends of the rectangular section. The resultant configuration is called as a rectangular cavity resonator. In which the signal uh, uh, bounces back and forth between the opposite walls. The resonant frequency for both T and uh, Tm waves Fr is equal to 1 by 2 root of mu epsilon square root of m by a the whole square plus n by b the whole square plus p by d the whole square where a, b and d are dimensions of the cavity. So from this figure this is a, this is b, the dimension b and this is the dimension b that is length of the cavity. So therefore the resonant frequency can also be expressed as C by 2 square root of m by a the whole square plus n by b the whole square plus p by d the whole square. T modes with the same resonant frequencies as Tm modes are called degenerate modes. The Tm, Mnp and Te, Mnp modes are always degenerates if none of the mode indices is 0. We know that what is the representation of M and P, the subscripts of uh, T, E and T, M. M represents half wavelength along X direction, N represents half wavelength variations along Y directions and P is the half wavelength variations along the Z direction. For a given cavity size, the lowest resonant frequency is called dominant mode. Next, Q factor. Q factor is a measure of the frequency selectivity of a circuit. Q is defined as Q is equal to 2 pi maximum energy stored during a cycle divided by the average energy dissipated per cycle. Q is equal to omega R W S by P L where P L is the power loss, average power loss in cavity. Average power loss is divided into three parts. One is power loss in walls. Second one is power loss in dielectric that is P L D. Third one is power loss due to loading of coupled device that is PL coupling. PL is equal to PLW plus PLD plus PL coupling. For loaded circuit, it can be represented as QL is equal to omega R WS divided by PLW plus PLD plus PL coupling. So after um, that we can write 1 by QL is equal to 1 by Q0 plus 1 by QC. Q0 is a unloaded quality factor since QD much greater than QW. So therefore QL is equal to Q0 by 1 plus K where K is the coupling coefficients. There can be three values of coupling coefficient, critical coupling, over coupling, under coupling. 
the critical coupling k value is equal to 1 that means the resonator and the generator both are matched that is equal to k is equal to 1 q l is equal to q naught by 2 over coupling means when coupling coefficient greater than 1 here the cavity terminals are at maximum voltage and the impedance at maximum voltage is standing wave ratio rho so therefore k is equal to rho the quality factor q l is equal to q naught by 1 plus rho Similarly, the under coupling means it is k is less than 1. Here the cavity terminals are of minimum voltage and the impedance is equal to reciprocal of SWR that means 1 by rho. So here we observe that this is the uh, plot for SWR and uh, coupling coefficient. This is the region where the uh, coupling coefficient is less than 1 that is under coupled and here this is k is equal to 1 critical coupling and this is the region where k is much greater than 1 and this is uh, over coupled. Similarly observe the SW or standing wave ratio for the corresponding coupling coefficient. For a critically coupled, both are perfectly matched generator and resonator. So, therefore, it is k is equal to 1. Next, we are going to talk about the applications of a cavity resonator. Microwave uh, resonators are a tunable circuit used in microwave oscillators, amplifiers, wave meters, and filters. The cavity resonators are used in microwave measuring devices. Here, I have listed a few of them. Uh, we will discuss one by one. First one is microwave filters. This figure it illustrates notch filter with the cavity resonator. In notch filter, the cavity dimensions are flexible. It can be changed by blowing or screw movement when incoming signal frequency is equal to resonant frequency. Thus, energy stored in the cavity can also be varied. Therefore, it acts as notch filter or bandpass filter. Second one is wave meter. The wave meter is used for measuring frequency. Cavity dimensions are changed by screw when incoming signal frequency in the waveguide matches with the resonant frequency of cavity. The cavity absorbs power and the output of waveguide is minimum. A calibrated micrometer scale gives directly the frequency. Figure 4 it illustrates the wave meter. And uh, next application is micro signal generation. Cavity resonators are used in reflex klystron and magnetron for generation of microwave signal. Next one is radar systems. Cavity resonators are employed in duplexes of radar systems. And another type of uh, cavity is reentrant cavity. In order to maintain resonance and operating frequency, and for efficiency, energy transfer into cavity resonator, the inductance and capacitance must be reduced. The reentrant cavities are specially designed to meet this requirement. Reentrant cavity is one in which metallic boundaries extend into interior of cavity. One of the commonly used reentrant cavities is coaxial cavity. Generally, these reentrant cavities are used in klystrons and other microwave tubes. In this case, not only inductance is reduced, but resistance losses are also reduced and shelf shielding enclosure prevents radiation losses. So, these are the various uh, reentrant cavities, coaxial cavity, figure B, radial cavity, figure C represents tunable cavity. And the uh, figure D represents toroidal cavity and the last one represents the butterfly cavity. Among all this mostly we are using coaxial cavity. This figure illustrates coaxial reentrant cavity. Next we are going to talk about the excitation of cavity resonator. In order to excite a particular mode, the cavity must be properly coupled to the external source. Different coupling methods are used in microwave filters and wave meters. We will discuss one by one. The first type is loop coupling. The figure illustrates loop coupled cavity. So you see here in a rectangular cavity that is loop coupled to a coaxial line. A loop is coupled to the rectangular cavity. The loop size is very small 
and the current in the loop can be considered to be constant. The conduction current in the loop produces a linking magnetic field. The loop is capable of exciting any cavity loop. The plane of the loop is placed perpendicular to the magnetic flux lines. Another type is probe coupling. This figure illustrates probe coupled cavity. A rectangular cavity that is probe coupled to a coaxial line. Any cavity mode having an electric field component parallel to the probe can be excited by this coupling arrangement. And another type is aperture coupling. Here this figure 9 represents aperture coupled cavity. Here you observe in the rectangular cavity there is aperture or iris is provided in the waveguide section. It is otherwise called as iris coupling. A magnetic field component that is parallel to the long dimension of the slot will be coupled through the aperture. These are the various types of excitation of the cavity resonator. Next type is circular cavity resonator. A circular cavity resonator is a circular waveguide with the two ends closed by metallic planes. When excited properly, Standing waves set up and the oscillations build up. The simplest cavity resonators are spheres, cylinders. The cavity must have oscillations through flywheel effect. But due to harmonics, cavity will oscillate at a harmonic frequency. And the output will be in the form of pulses. So therefore, to attenuate oscillations, the cavities must be of odd shapes so that oscillating frequencies will not harmonically related and the harmonics are attenuated. This figure illustrates the circular cavity resonator. Resonant frequency for TE and TM mode. These two uh, equations represent the resonant frequency for TE and TM mode. It depends upon the dimensions of the cavity. Generally, Resonant frequency determined by the dimensions of the cavity. So, cavity resonators are used in klystrons and reflex klystrons. I hope you could understand microwave cavity resonators in detail. Thank you.